Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is what, March the 6th, 2021. And we did out a post on our YouTube channel asking which stock price prediction would you all want? And overwhelmingly, uh, it was a close tie between Palantir and NEO. And NEO actually won out. So on today's video, we are going to give you all this price prediction for NEO. Now, before I go into that, if today is your first time watching our video, you guys appreciate it. Hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel because one of our main purposes of doing these videos is to ensure that we give you all a heads up as to where we're expecting price to go so that we can capitalize from it or, if anything, escape from the reins of the trap. Now, the trap is the one who controls the price. He literally is in the market creating a environment to where you can bring together buyers and the sellers and he does that and he leaves his footprint off the price chart so you can see right here in neo every price bar you see every volume bar you see is him working the market so now let's speak on neo real quick because you can see we did a price prediction in the market in neo and it did not go the way that we expected it to go we back here on the 9th of February, we were looking for the market to go higher in price. We felt as if the strength was confirmed and that the market in Neo was going to continue to ride higher and stay above that ascending line. And that was not the case. So, yes, this was a blown play. You know, the market did not go the way that we expected it to go, which it happens. But you learn from those type of mistakes and you try to alleviate that going forward whenever you partic participate in the market. So let's see what happened. So let's zoom in real quick. And right here, the market was giving a strength into the market in NEO. There are no doubts about it. I mean, we've held support in the market in NEO for around $56 on numerous trading days. We finally saw that breakout, a minor breakout on the 9th. But take a look at what happened since then. The market has been going lower and lower and lower and lower after we did our video and we told you that we would have to come into the market on that video and reevaluate neo once we see it break 56 dollars so at what day did that occur yes it occurred on the 18th of february so right then we needed to come into the market and say okay what's going on what we anticipated back on february the 9th is not actually playing out so this is where you're able to minimize losses in your analysis because right there here on the 18th of February, two things happened that did not need to happen in order for us to see price go higher. The first one, the trend was broken. You see that the trend broke on the 18th of February in NEO. Also, the market broke support at $56. We could not see neither of those things happen in order for us to see the price move in Neo go higher. But as a matter of fact, they both broke. So that's why we're seeing this massive movement to the downside in Neo. So right there, uh, I would say on this particular day is when we probably would have gotten out our forecast prediction at a loss of about 19 and 19.2 percent. If you're still into the market today, I mean 39, 30, 40 percent. We've been down on that particular prediction that we talked about on February the 10th. All right, so let's take that away. Now, let's get in position on the next anticipated price move we are seeing on the price chart in NEO. So automatically, that trend that NEO was in, it started all the way back here in June of 2020 to where the market actually broke out and saw that massive move to the upside. It's been great. It's been a fun run to see the market in Neo go higher in price, but can it be continued? Obviously, we're not expecting the market in Neo to see higher price as of this particular moment. So that leads us to other options of which price can move. The first one is that we can see the market in Neo actually trade sideways for a couple of weeks, and then the resumption of higher price can occur, or we can still see this market in Neo go lower and lower and lower in price. So the first thing we're going to do, since the trend is broken, we need to follow the next trend that NEO is creating. This is what the trap is already distilling to us, that the market in NEO 
is still giving us some weakness. All right. So now, one thing I really want to pinpoint to you is at the bottom of the screen, what do you see different in terms of volume? What occurred over the last couple of weeks into the market in NEO? This volume from yesterday was massive. I mean, we haven't seen this much action in NEO since the market was trading at all time highs on January the 11th. So that could mean on January the 11th, 2021, large institutions sold the market in NEO. And guess what? March the 5th, they came back into the market and purchased NEO. Let's see if we could get that on a different time frame. So looking at the two day time frame in NEO, you guys can see already that the trap has instilled a support area as of this particular moment actually we have a couple more areas that we can see the market in neo prop itself up and a lot of people probably don't want to see that but $24 even $30 all right could be those areas of support into the market in neo that we can actually see more support okay so yeah, it's been a negative last three weeks into the market in NEO. We've been seeing the market seemingly every other week go lower and lower in price. We actually have seen actually pretty good, some more involvement from the bigger institutions. All right, that's very positive to see. Let's look at this on a three weeks time frame. Now the three weeks time frame is a very widespread, you know, is actually wider than what we encompass as we were seeing the market in neo go high in price all of this work let me show you i'm gonna circle it all of this work right here for the market in neo to go high in price was literally deleted in one week of price action one week and when you look at this on a three weeks time frame you can actually tell where you can expect some restriction or sellers to enter the market which is around forty dollars to around forty two dollars as restriction Okay, keep that in mind. 40 to around $42 is where we're seeing restriction enter into the market in NEO. All right. When you look at the market in NEO on a monthly time frame, I'll just draw this ascending line right there. You can see how the market in NEO is breaking the trend as of this particular day, but we have 25 days left. So, we can still see this market in NEO close above that ascending line in the long term. And that will still confirm that the strength is still here for from a longer term perspective. OK. So now let's go ahead and do this real quick. You can see right here on the 15 hour price bar that the volume depth came through. We had some one coming to the market in NEO and purchase this particular market, which is pretty good. It's not bad. It's not negative. In actuality, we can see this market come up towards forty dollars to around forty two fifty. That is what we're going to do from a daily perspective in the market in Neo. OK, longer term, we're not quite out the woods yet to see that weakness appear again. So on this particular forecast, we're going to play the strength into the market in Neo. Very small movement to the upside because the overall entrenchment of weakness is still here. But that doesn't mean we can't capitalize on the market in NEO going higher in price. All right, so let's do this. We said that $40 is restriction, which is around five and a quarter percent. I mean, that's still good to come into the market and grab that out from profitability. 4250 will be our next area specifically, okay? And you can see that the market in NEO has this area to play with. This is what we're expecting the market to do in NEO I would say throughout the month of March going into April, we're just simply seeing this market play this area right there that I've circled. OK, that is the area of focus that we all need to pay attention to as we see the market in Neo trade for the month of March. OK, so now we're in position. This is what we're seeing into the market in Neo 
uh, going forward we definitely see an increase in volume lets us know that the major institutions definitely came into the market in neo to prop itself up at least till we see $40 or $40 to 250 then after that we will have to come back into the market to reevaluate it because obviously we cannot maintain the strength and even break this descending line neo is going to go lower and break $32 to the downside but that's for the long term okay so that give us ample amount of opportunity to come back in and relook at the price chart to see if that's still the case so that's it it's your turn now what do you all see into the market in neo do you think this market is going to go higher in price do you think it's going to go lower let everyone know in our community what is your price prediction for neo so we can get everyone's viewpoint as to what they think about neo and there's no right or wrong answers make sure you maintain a profitability and trade different